man, I really miss being on YouTube. I feel like a part of me has just been gone. <sighs> Let's see. But no worries, because I know my guys who are also reviewing shoes for the people are holding it down for your boy. Let's see what my boy Thomas is doing for Believe in the Run. All right. Run fast that shoe, it means you've got extremely strong legs, or you're just a super fast runner that can. Oh my god, get to the point. The rocker design still feels pretty similar to the Clifton, but with that extra weight. The Cl oh, come on, get out of here, the Clifton! Come on, man. The thing I think of this shoe being as big and heavy and cushioned as it is, it rolls through your stride. <sighs> big and heavy. You know what? I'm, I'm done with Thomas, he doesn't know anything. The Ginger Runner. Now this guy knows how to make reviews, baby. Pole's actually wearing pretty good. I'm not getting any of the lugs worn down. All right, Ginger Runners, what's the verdict? Sixteen out of twenty again. Okay, no worries, no worries, because I know my boy Confuzi is gonna hold it down with the Hoka Bonnie Six review. We got today. The Zoom Fly SP after 100 miles. Come on, another Nike. Okay, hey, we get it. Nike this, Nike that. Oh wait, Zoom Fly SP? It wasn't kind of fire. Thin layer of rubber right in the forefoot. Okay, that's that's actually a really good review, but it's not a Bonnie Six. <sighs> I feel like no one's giving the Bonnie Six its just due. You know what? I'm coming back. I'm coming back. That's it. I, if those gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Let's, let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. Mary Beth and all. Let's do it. So like I was saying, I've had the Bondi 6s for about a month, two months, and I don't think people are putting the right respect on its name. Come on. Follow me. So what I'm thinking is, people want to clown the shoe for how it looks. Sure, they look a little funky. They're a little clunky looking, but looks can be deceiving. Let me tell you guys what I really think about the Bondi 6. Now last year's Bondi 5, did I like it? No. But you know what? Your boy Jamie is always up to give the shoe another chance. So this year, I was like, you know what? Let me stop being biased and anti-Hoka and all that nonsense and let me give it another chance. And so I did. So the first day I had the shoe, I went walking around the park, pick some daisies, you know, the typical thing that I always do. But of course, with all this extra EVA and goodness, it's gonna feel comfortable, you would think, but how does it feel while running? You know what, hold on. The stupid run gum. So while running, I'm thinking this shoe is gonna be a clunker. It's gonna be sloppy. It's gonna be nasty. But I was wrong. A long distances, it felt comfortable. It feel engaged. It feel like little pillows under my little feet. Now, was it Hoka Clifton 1 great? Pretty much close to it. But with that, you're gonna gain some weight. You're gonna get a little more shoe. So you gotta understand, every shoe has its purpose. So is this a fast shoe? No. Is it a good looking shoe? I mean, not really. But is it good for the long runs? Some comfort recovery runs. The thing is, if you want a speed shoe, obviously a Hoka, it probably isn't the best thing ever. But if you want a shoe that's gonna feel good and keep your legs fresh, all right, so let's cut out all the nonsense. The things that I like. As far as the update, the fit. The overall fit is much better than last year's. Last year's fit felt so narrow, like right here on the side, like right here. It was so narrow, like my foot was getting like pushed in, like. A, like, if you got bunions, this ain't gonna work for you. It's not gonna work, but if you do, this might work this year. I like the fit. Last year, I went to a wide, just to try it, and I still didn't even like it. But this year, in our normal width, it was Gucci. And for those who don't know what Gucci means, it means it was good for the, you people who just not in tune. Um, the outsole is pretty much exposed. I mean, you got some rubber, high rare spots, but it's nothing substantial. I mean, I wouldn't go trail running or anything with it, but you know. For those who want to try, go for it. I'm not, I did not. Well, we could try, right? You know what? Onto the trail, let's go. So we're here at the trail. You can hear the little birds or whatever those things are going off. Listen to it. Did you hear them? So obviously, I already know these feel good on the road. 
So let's take him to a trail. Let's go. Okay. Are we all set? Let's go. Okay, so this isn't like a real trail. It's a very light trail. But still, um, so far, it feels good. Does it hurt or anything? I mean, there's some rocks, some uneven ground. I feel stable. I don't feel like I'm gonna fall or anything. Ah, shit. Okay, maybe not the trails, but on the roads, I assure you, they're fantastic. I'm telling you, the Hoka Bonnie 6 are the real deal. Like I said, they have a purpose. And for me, long runs, recovery runs, they're gold. They fit right in my rotation. I don't have many complaints. The upper feels good, the midsole feels good, the traction kind of sucks, but it's a road shoe. And with that said, when it comes to the Hoka 1-1 One One Bondi 6, your boy Jamie does approve. Outstanding. And for those with the stats of the shoe, let me go ahead and uh, get you right here. And uh, we'll just put that in there and uh, you can see the stats. You see it, you see it. All right, cool, cool. I'll even put it in the grams for those who want the grams and not the ounces, because you always complain about it. Okay, are we good? We think we're good. All right, what's up? Hey, bro. Say what? Jamie, is that you? What's up, man? Damn, what happened? You look bummy. Yes, me, man. I know, I got the beard going on. It's, it's a little rusty. I read the comments and say shave it, but you know, we're gonna keep it for another week or so. Yeah, how's it going, man? Yeah, I'm doing good, but what are you doing here? Oh, I'm doing, doing a video, actually, uh, a review. Oh, cool, a video? Yeah. Oh, you're doing the Zoo 5 Fly Knits. No, not the Whoa, Nike. Oh, bro. <laughs> what yeah, are those? I yeah, these, oh, these are uh, the Hoka Bonnie 6. They're pretty cool. No, nah, bro, those look like moon boots. I mean, they're not that oh, one I mean, small step for mankind looking boy. They look good to me. No, nah, they bad, bro. Come on, man, you can't be doing me like Shape that. Shape-ups were never in style, bro. All right, bro, I get it. They're not that good looking. I get boy, it. Boy, you and those Chill. are ugly. And shave that crap Dang. off your face. Bro, where Mary Beth at? What about me nowadays, man? Anybody trying to see you? Hashtag Mary Beth or Nall. You must be the or Nall. Oh, no. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe. And you know the best part about the Bondi 6? It's not the cushion. It's not the upper that's breathable and accommodating yet supportive. It's the pull tab. Really? 